don't click out of this episode, we are going to wash this Ferrari 308 Quattro Valvole with a tire shine agent. We're going to use some new products from Oberk's Car Care, test out their compound and polish. We're going to use a couple Max Shine products here. We're going to uh, finish off this 308 with the graphene wax. This thing is a five time award winning uh, Ferrari 308. This is a fourth owner vehicle, but it has been mostly restored to original condition. The paint on it is original from 1985. Uh, it's had some things replaced. Uh, it had window tint that was taken off. The seats and door panel leather were replaced. Uh, the headrests were missing. Um, it had some chip glass that he had to fix. The owner's goal was to win the Ferrari Club of America National Meat Trophy. Uh, many people have tried that, but only few have accomplished it. So he's entered as many possible uh, shows for local and state from the Ferrari Club of America that uh, sanctioned. Um, and after two years of entering shows and restoring this vehicle, he's received a 97 points out of a maximum of 100 points uh, in some of these shows. And he's won quite a few trophies at least five of them uh, which will show you some of those right over here some of you might recognize some of the names on these um, i sure as hell don't but uh, he's won all these great awards and so we're gonna get started and get this thing looking amazing do a little walk around here kind of show you how swirly this paint is uh, so we're going to make some major improvements here today. I am eager to test out new compound and polish. The Oberk stuff is water-based, so it should work great with uh, ceramic coatings and uh, other sealants as well. So this thing is uh, pretty rough, but we're going to make it look perfect. mentioned this is all original paint. Now, even though we're getting some of these crazy readings, uh, it really doesn't surprise me that this is what the uh, Ferrari factory painters from uh, 1985 were able to achieve. The owner showed me a very cool picture of a 308 being painted in, uh, at the Ferrari factory from back then. The guys weren't wearing any masks, they were just spraying the car. Uh, definitely not as uh, sophisticated as some of our body shops today. Uh, and these door jam readings are actually pretty high too. So this is the quality of paint you got in 1985 from Ferrari. Supercars have always been uh, notorious for having sanding scratches and other defects. This thing has plenty of them, uh, as well as some other little dirt nibs and stuff. I had mentioned we're going to wash this thing with tire shine. It's pretty uh, lightly dirty, and I've got this Croftgate tire shine that I got from DIY Auto Detailing Supplies. Check them out. We've done a few. Uh, we've mentioned them before. Uh, I was told that you could use this tire shine uh, to also wipe cars down with uh, and do kind of like a waterless wash. So since this thing is lightly dusty, and I've had fun cleaning wheels uh, with the actual tire shine, I'm gonna piss everybody off and wipe down this Ferrari with tire shine. Uh, but I mean, this thing was barely dirty. So before any of you get uh, tell me I'm destroying the paint and scratching it up, uh, we're not, because you could barely wipe dust off with your fingers. But uh, so far, so good. Seems to wipe on and off pretty easily and leaves the surface really slick. So uh, that'll give us a nice little shine before we even get started. looks pretty nice right well there you go oh, there's a smudge right there missed the spot but yeah pretty shiny for a tire shine wipe down uh, maybe try that at home I don't know uh, so here I've got some heavy grade clay bar from Max Shine they dropped off a bunch of products for us to try out the other day so I'm gonna use that with my shine supply shine mist and clay the car uh, now it is a heavy grade clay so I'm really hoping that this doesn't destroy the paint like some of the other uh, heavy clay bars do um, I'm not a fan of it so far. Uh, the bars themselves are really small. I'm not sure what they charge for these retail, but if they charge the same as some of the other brands of clay that we use, uh, you're not getting as much for your money. Um, 
and it just felt like it was breaking apart pretty easily in my hand already. So not a huge fan, but it works and it didn't scratch everything up. All this trim is plastic, so of course I'm going to tape up everything uh, because I do not want to get buffer marks on any of this stuff since we're doing a two-step correction today. So, got a lot of stuff to tape off here. Got our stars of the show here today that are gonna make this car look beautiful. And on the left, we have uh, Oberk's Car Care Compound, which has no label on it for whatever reason. And on the right, we've got their fine polish uh, for step two. So I'm gonna try these out today and see how they do in comparison to Shine Supply. Uh, we've got towels outlined in all the vents here to reduce dust. Um, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's annoying because your pad will catch on the towel. So I'm going to just do two drops of compound here. Uh, I have always found with most things that less is more. Uh, I don't believe in priming pads or using tons of product. Uh, it gets messy and sometimes you don't achieve the same finish when you aren't letting the product break down all the way. This stuff has a great working time. Uh, it's a little tough to tell when it's fully broken down because it doesn't run as clear as Shine Supply Classic Cut when it's getting towards the end. Uh, so I had to do some guesswork here. It cleaned up most of the car very nicely. The hood I had to do two passes because when I pulled my pad up, it came up with what looked like some uh, contamination, which either my clay bar didn't get or it was just deeper in there. So I had to do a second pass. But here's a little before and after. It's looking really nice with this stuff, but it's very dusty. I decided to actually pull out my 3 inch polisher today because some of these angles were just too sketchy to stick the 5 inch in. Uh, and you're not always going to get these areas perfect with the curves, but you can usually knock the swirls down and then if you can get a foam polisher to spin in, or a foam pad to spin in there, uh, well you can usually clean up most of the haze. So, but. This is one of the perks on working on supercars is that you have to use all of your tools. Some of you are thinking, oh my god, this guy is insane. Well, I am. Uh, so that is why I'm polishing the inside of this quarter panel uh, with my 5-inch polisher, and we're not going to bang it off of anything. We're going to give it a nice quick buzz here just to gloss things up. I'm not too concerned about swirls, uh, and I didn't have to pull out the 3-inch or a smaller tool for it. Most of these uh, older classics uh, usually have some sort of area under the bumper and under the large plastic bumper that they also have. Uh, so if you like working on classic cars, you better also like laying on the floor because you're going to spend a lot of time. The paint on this car cleaned up really easy. It only took me like an hour and a quarter to compound this whole car. So let's move on to step two and do our final polish. First, I'm gonna test this stuff out on the uh, Lake Country Orange Cutting Pad. Apparently the Oberk pads that they recommend in their system are made by Lake Country. Although they are a different color, I'm just gonna take a guess here uh, and try this one out and see if it's the right, if it's the same. Uh, and I'm gonna do three drops even though it recommends four. So 
So I found the polish to be pretty difficult to remove, uh, but it worked down nicely. That orange pad didn't quite get the finish I wanted, so I'm gonna try a black pad instead. Now I've got a black foam pad out, so we're gonna give this a try. Uh, I'm gonna use less product here. You can see here's where the towels get kind of annoying. Uh, and because the black pad, being that it's so soft, it doesn't generate much heat, it takes a lot longer to break product down. And that can cause problems sometimes, and also lead to DA haze coming back later if you don't break it down enough and you just wipe it right off. So basically, even if you're not using a filler polish, it's still just filling things in if you don't actually break the product down and get all the cut out of it. So using a softer foam pad got me the finish that I wanted. Uh, it was still difficult to wipe this product off. I'm not sure if I'll buy it. Play around with it. everything out with my torn door, get rid of some of the dust on this thing uh, before we move on to panel prep. I love this car. I always love classic Ferraris. They are some of the sexiest cars I think around. Um, and this 308 is just phenomenal. He's got two of them, which he owns two, so that he can drive one and take the other to shows because he's super serious about winning these shows. Uh, apparently he used to have two of the Fiat Dinos also, which is crazy. So we're going to give this the good old panel prep wipe down here, which went over quickly with my uh, alcohol spray and these nice fluffy towels, which you may have noticed have changed colors from previous episodes. I think they ran out of the blue ones and so they've now been sending me the grays, but they're still the same great quality. So we're doing this to remove any polishing oils left behind. Uh, I don't know how oil, even though it's a water base, I don't know how much residue the um, Oberx polish will leave behind, so we just want to be extra thorough on this step. I love the uh, Ferrari door handles of old, before they were the uh, painted tiny door handles that are incredibly easy to burn. Uh, at least on this car, I don't have to worry about that because it's plastic. The interior of this thing is miraculous too. I love the classic car interiors. They are so cool before they had all the crazy electronics just to see like what was advanced technology back then. And you have to have everything working in these cars to win these shows. So the air conditioner, uh, if it has power windows, like everything has to work. So it's amazing that this thing is in like total running condition and there's barely a scratch on the body. Another incredibly sexy uh, 80s style of wheel. They really need to bring back these wheels. I, I love the, the style on the old cars. They're so much easier to clean also. Just like uh, here, I'm easily wiping this down with Shine Supply Solution and then my one of my crazy ceramic detail spray mixes. And then we're also gonna apply some of the Max Shine uh, tire dressing that they gave me a bottle of uh, and make these tires gloss up real nice. Whenever I hear the words concours, I always think wax. So I'm gonna put the Art to Shine uh, graphene wax blue on this car, and we're gonna use this 300 GSM mega applicator block that I bought, uh, not knowing that they were so big. Now, this block is just a little too big to fit in the jar, so here's where I'm gonna have to just really jam a few fingers in there. It's uh, pretty moist and uh, very jelly-like. So, um, Try not to uh, have too much fun at home with the graphene wax. So I'm gonna spread this onto the pad and prime it, uh, and then 
stick my fingers in there and grab some more. This stuff comes out like jelly, basically. It's a really weird consistency. Uh, but yeah, I'm just priming this whole thing, and I'm gonna wax the entire front end of the car in one go using this mega applicator block. Uh, these would be great if you have a good tag team doing ceramic coating or uh, if you're using a product that you can uh, you don't have to wipe off right away. Uh, this will hold a lot of product and it's also really soft being that it's 300 GSM. Normally those little blue applicator blocks that they either give you in the box or the ones you buy at the detail store for like a dollar, those are only 260 GSM. So these are a little bit softer uh, and they hold a lot of product. Art to Shine Graphene Wax is super easy to wipe off of this 1985 Ferrari 308 uh, and it's making this thing look super good. This I've used this on a few cars now and it really gives great shine. I'm hoping that it stands up to its six month longevity. It'll probably last a lot longer on this uh, gorgeous garage kept show car here. Uh, you can apply it to plastics, glass, trim, uh, wheels, paint, pretty much any surface and it provides great hydrophobic properties and I'm sure it is slightly more water resistant than traditional waxes and it's really easy to install. Uh, wiping it off there's very no smearing and it just comes off easy even if you walk around the whole car uh, you can still wipe it off with ease later on. Since this thing has so much trim, uh, I am going to take the time to individually wax each one of these little vents and wipe them down with a towel afterwards. Uh, this can be a huge pain in the butt sometimes, but a little extra effort goes a long way. I'm really hoping that this thing looks phenomenal when I pull it outside. I put in a lot more work than I usually do uh, on this car today because since it's a show car, I really wanted to win some more shows uh, for having great paint. So hopefully in some of its future Ferrari shows, it'll take home some more trophies. I'm also going to put some of the graphene wax on this vinyl uh, top as well. As you can see, it darkens it up really nice and it wipes off pretty easily. I'm not sure how long it'll keep dark, uh, but I'll hopefully get to see this car again when we go back to do his black Ferrari 308 that he has as well. that you guys have seen this car at many angles, uh, how many of you would take this home and drive it? For being a Ferrari, uh, sure a little bit underpowered even though it has the, uh, qua it is the Quattro Valvole edition which is four valves per cylinder, uh, but it only produces about 235 horsepower. Uh, probably the American version uh, is around there because it has a catalytic converter. The Euro version didn't have that, so they got a bigger power bump. Uh, lucky them, but I guess, uh, the United States just cared more about air quality. <laughs> this car is absolutely beautiful. The successor, the 328, is known as the Toyota of Ferrari. Uh, it's very reliable, but it lacks all the charm of the classic Ferraris with their knobs and levers. So, I'm gonna give the windows a quick wipe down here. Can't forget these. So, I've got my uh, Shine Supply Sunshine win Window Cleaner and one of my big Dreadnought drying towels. So, I'm just gonna wipe on, wipe off, or easy clean glass wipe with the wet side dry with the dry side and you won't have any streaking or any hazing or anything 
So what do you think here? We've got this thing corrected, uh, coated in the graphene wax. It's a hell of a lot shinier than it was earlier. The paint's looking really swirl free, very nice. I'd say we made a huge improvement on this 1985 Ferrari 308. This thing looks great. Look at that mirror shine, even on this uh, kind of strange pr uh, plum color we've got going on here. The wheels look really nice with the ceramic spray detailer and the Max Shine tire shine on there. Uh, all the plastic trim on the bumpers and everything looks great. I am very pleased with how this car came out and I can't wait for the owner to walk out and see it momentarily. I told you guys the cars were going to keep getting cooler and uh, we're going to keep lining up these beautiful cars because the more of these I do, the more my name travels around uh, and we get interest in getting to do all these amazing classes. part is pulling these outside man check this thing out this uh, plum paint job is looking fresh the paint looks great uh, I did notice a few minor uh, marring marks uh, here and there which who knows why but you can see it's super clear on most of this car uh, I am so happy to have gotten to work on this thing. I've been waiting a little while. I think we booked it like a month ago and I thought I was doing the black one that he's got parked in front there, but then he uh, gave me this one to do, which I think uh, was way more fun. So we'll come back and do that black one later, but man, I am highly impressed uh, with how this Ferrari 308 came out. Uh, the owner is ecstatic about how it looks. He thinks it looks amazing uh, and I'm hoping it goes on to win many more shows. We've got all the trophies laid out here again for y'all to see. So thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for another episode of Wicked Classic Cars uh, next week. And uh, check out our other content as well. Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 12 p.m. Pacific. We always release new videos. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit subscribe.